Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl Sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do. Boo, I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your girl Sweets. So we're going to tap right into the energy and see what it is that the Holy Spirit has for my sweet love. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So let's see what it is that Spirit has for you guys, sweet loves. a heartbreak someone could be lurking in the shadows heartbroken this person could be watching the family could have had a family with this person and they could have broken your heart but I do feel like this person is lurking in the shadows heartbroken yeah look as I said the child card so this is someone you had a family with someone you could have a child with take it where it resonates person is watching we have we hear you we have always heard you just know we are working behind the scenes to make it work this came out in reverse over here so yeah this person is praying for spirit and the ancestors to work this situation out and their requests are falling on deaf ears their requests are not being met, and that could be why they're heartbroken. Because they could be reminiscing. Reminisce on the love we had. Reminisce is Remy name, right? So I don't know. Remy could be significant here. Someone could be drinking Remy. Yeah, this is someone that you separated yourself from. Or you're in some sort of period of separation with this individual. Okay, so this person is watching you make some sort of progress. I got wedding rings at the bottom. So someone is watching you make some sort of progress. I don't know if you're moving towards being married or getting married or what. But um, this person is watching you make some sort of progress after some sort of heartbreak if things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you have been in okay so if you were dealing with heartbreak just know you'll be coming up out of that okay you'll be making some sort of progress and this person gonna be lurking in the shadows watching i am intuitive confirmation okay confirmation so spirit could be showing you or sending you signs okay you could be getting some sort of intuitive nudges letting you know that you will be making some sort of progress i know that all the wisdom i need to make the right decisions lie within me i'm intuitive so you guys could actually be going within to help you make this progress okay you could be going within actually doing the healing work okay following your intuition <laughs> as i say that the hermit okay so some of you guys could be spending a lot of time alone reflecting doing some sort of introspecting okay all right now cheers to my sweet loves doing the work uh, 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 doing the work okay 
So we got poor judgment. Someone poorly judged the situation, made a poor decision. Could be surrounding a child or when it came to, you know, this family life, this, this life with this individual that they may have had a child with. Okay? Someone poorly judged the situation. And through those moments of realizing this, uh, I said through those moments of realizing this, well, I guess that's the way it is. Through those moments of realizing this, this person is reminiscing. But what I initially was going to say is that in this person reminiscing, they are realizing that they poorly judged the situation. Okay? <laughs> the devil. Devil. Devil came out crossing. So you could be releasing um, toxic ways or you could be struggling to release it because it's not upright, it's not uh, or reverse. So this is something that you could be working on. You could be going within working on your toxicity, your toxic ways, your devilish ways. Now also what I'm getting is that this person's this person's thank you this person's toxicity is what got in the way of the connection this person's ways their devilish ways could have led to this heartbreak it actually led to their own heartbreak but initially it could have led to them breaking your heart which now in turn is leading to their heart being broken okay but um this person is realizing that they poorly judge this situation and they're also realizing that you're protected okay we got trust that you're being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. Okay? So, this person is somehow, I don't know what's going on around them or around you, but they're realizing how protected you are. They also realizing that you're being protected from going back and indulging with them. What else, spirit? Rebellion, fairy tales do exist. This person. <laughs> This person, I did see that uh, too hard to say goodbye. Um, it wasn't the reverse. And then it was what? Uh, recon reconciliation is coming. If you're protecting yourself from this person, just know this person feel, feels like you're part of their fairy tale ending, okay? And they want to get back to the good old times. So this person is going to try to go against whatever layers of protection you have around you. They're going to try it. Yeah, they're going to try it. This person is going to come in acting as if or posing as if they aren't toxic, but just know it's there. It ain't going to take much for it to come out. So if this is the type of person that's angry and aggressive or y'all get to arguing, okay? Once you have a conversation or something like that, again, hard to say goodbye in reverse with ego. This person doesn't want to walk away, okay? This person's ego, you walking away from this individual hurts their ego. And they can't have that. That's not what they want to have. I mean, they're going to have whatever spirit gives them, but that's not what they want to have. They don't want that. is not what they want but um what i was saying is that if you're in this individual let's just say i get the arguing and going back and forth or whatever the case may be 
right? Or this person typically comes in angry and aggressive. They're, when they come in towards you, they're going to have a mask on. But if this person feel like, I just heard you on your bullshit. If you, if this person, feel, if you're rejecting this person, when they come towards you, just know it ain't going to be too many times that they try before they expose this aggressive side of themselves. Yeah. This person knows that you're protected, but they feel like they don't care. No distance will keep y'all apart. They don't want to say goodbye. They don't want to say goodbye. Three of Cups. They want to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to come towards you, possibly have a conversation with you. They may start off by saying they want to build a friendship. You know, they want to start off slow. But this person, it hurts their ego for you to just walk away from this person. They don't care what layer of protection you got around you, how protection, how protected you are, how much you protecting yourself from them. They're going to come. Look, setting clear boundaries. You're going to have to set some clear boundaries with this person. And let them know that this ain't that. <laughs> and as I say that, I am supported, okay? You're going to have to let them know you could be in a partnership with someone. Or at the time that they come in, you may be dating someone. Because I, I see I'm supported court, courtship, right? So you may be dating someone. Ah, which explains the three of cups here. You may be dating someone. Look, believe in divine timing. Wow. You may be dating someone at the time that this person comes towards you. This person, they possibly willing to be a third party to a damn connection. This person just want to be with you. They don't want to be a part for you. Look, we got karmas at work here. So you're getting some sort of fairy tale ending. And right when you do, this person is going to come... This person is going to come in. That's what that protection is about too. Whatever, whoever you're dating could be very overprotective or, you know, could be sent in to protect you. And this person sure is going to try to come in and true and make this a threes company situation. You gonna, And this is why you're going to have to set some sort of clear boundaries with this person. And possibly let them know that you're in a commitment. And there's no option for you guys to get back to the good old times. Yeah. This person may use sex to try to chase you. They may try to seduce you. But you ain't with it. <laughs> you ain't with it. You ain't with it. Seduction, chasing, health. Not today. Not today, my friend. Okay, why? Because you know they're a shapeshifter. You know they're going to change on you. You also could know that they possibly want to get you pregnant with health on top of the child. Okay? You may know that this person may be trying to chase you to have sex with you just to get you pregnant and change on you. And separate from you again with the separation here on top of shapeshifter. Yeah, this person may have done this to you before. This person could have done this to you in the past. Whether you have a child with them or not, this person could have... Um, For those of you where, you know, this is a baby mother or baby father, this person could have seduced you, gotten you pregnant, and left you out in the cold at some point. Yep. And this is what they're planning to do again. This person is planning to come in and give you an offer. Okay, try to seduce you. They're giving you an offer, but they're really only giving you an offer of sex. 
they, they being real childish, okay? They trying to seduce you. Yep. This is what their plan is. They want to do that only to juggle you. Only to juggle you. They going to get you pregnant and juggle you. Look, health. Child, two of pentacles. They going to get you pregnant and juggle you. This is what they could have did in the past. And this is what you could be reminiscing on and thinking about yourself. And that's why you don't want to have sex with this person. We got childhood memories. So for some of you guys, you could have been with this person for a long time. You could have been with this person since y'all was kids. Some of you guys could have two kids together. They could be a boy older than a girl. Yeah, look, hidden intentions and desires. They think it's hidden, but you know, that's why you ain't beat. You know this person gonna get you pregnant and juggle you. They gonna change on you. Cause they did it before. Wow. Well, at least you see, this is why that going with them was important, okay? That hermit mode, you going into hermit mode is important. Because that's going to help you go with them. And spirit going to drop the bombs on you and really let you know. I mean, you're getting the gist of it here. But spirit going to show you if you haven't already gotten a download. Because some of you guys could have had a dream. about um you having another child with them or them juggling you yeah this this person is gonna put you you loving and nurturing and this person gonna put you in in competition and it's gonna be quick too you know it's gonna be quick they're going to change on you fast. Soon as they get back in there where, where they want to be. Soon as they get you comfortable and get you right, right back around their finger. Boom. Yeah, look. Hidden intentions and desires. Courtship. Shapeshifter. This person wants to travel towards you and date you only to change on you. Disgusting. It's the ill intentions for me, sweet love. It's the ill intentions for me. Because what? Because you don't want your ego to be bruised. Because they don't want their ego to be bruised, sweet love. So they figure they come in. And snake you basically because that's what they doing. They ain't coming and doing nothing good. Ain't nothing good out here. Ain't nothing good coming from this person out here. They lurking in the shadows, plotting and planning. Cause they heart broke. So they want to come in and break your fucking heart. What? What? As I said, sexual healing, right? Then I say they coming in and seduce you. <laughs> Oh, Lord, look, back together again. Look, as I say it, back together again. Back together again. They want to get back together again, this person, okay? They want to get back together again. Only to juggle you and be talking about you with the people that they dating. Pillow talking about you with his new thing, Her Herbert. Two of Pentacles. So whoever this is that want to get back together with you, they could be talking, if they dating somebody new, they pillow talking about you with the new person because they hurt. Now, another thing that I got with that, this, um, if they were dating someone new and they were in separation, maybe they were broken up, these two people could be back together again, right? And they get back together, they ain't talking about their problems. He's sitting there talking to her or vice versa, flip and switch the roles, talking to her about you because he hurt. He only using her for sex anyway. Sexual healing, white liver, side chick number one, main chick number two. So, yeah. Yeah. Whoever this person is, 
If you was their main chick, you can have one or three kids. If you was their main chick, they was treating you like you was number two and the people they was creeping with, they was treating them like number one. But it's definitely they plan to chase you so y'all can get back together again. I'm going to leave it there, sweet loves. I think that was a little, that was enough for y'all. A little something, something for y'all, okay? So ears and eyes open and be on alert because you got a creep lurking in the shadows and he plotting and planning some weird shit, okay? But continue to do the work, continue to do the introspection, okay? See the truth in the situation, go within and trust your intuition, and keep this fuck up out of your energy. Okay? That's all I have for you guys, sweet love. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Book a read with sweets. Okay? Love and light to you all, sweet loves. Good day.